When I was younger, I always had a tough time learning. School never came easy to me, and I could never understand why. In elementary school, I was always that kid that was pulled out of the classroom for extra help, especially reading. I felt embarrassed, and I never wanted to go. Throughout middle school, I did not need as much help reading. I found certain tactics and strategies that worked for me. Hi, my name is Taylor Burnham, and I'll be talking to you all about the different types of learning styles. There are four different types of learning styles. Visual, auditory, reading and writing, and kinesthetic learning. Um, the first learning style is visual. Visual learners prefer to take in information using charts, maps, diagrams, and more. Using images to explain concepts and ideas is the best way to reach a visual learner. However, this type of learning style does not include photographs or videos. Instead, visual learners learn best when information is presented using patterns, shapes, and other visual aids in place of written or spoken words. One way teachers can differentiate their instructions for visual learners is by using graphic organizers to teach a lesson. A flowchart might be used to example a scientific process, for example. <laughs> the second learning style is auditory. This learning style describes students who learn best when information is heard or spoken. Auditory learners tend to learn better when the subject matter is reinforced by sound. These students would much rather listen to a lecture than read notes, and they often use their own voices to reinforce new concepts or ideas. These students are the students who like to read out loud to themselves, aren't afraid to speak up in class, and are great at verbally explaining things. They benefit from lectures, group discussion, and other strategies that involve talking things through. To help auditory learners learn, teachers can post audio recordings of lessons on the class website or incorporate group activities that require students to explain concepts to their classmates. The third learning style is reading and writing. Students who have reading and writing preference prefer information to be presented using words. They love to read and perform well on written assignments such as stories or book reports. While there is some overlap with visual learning, these types of learners are drawn to expression through writing, reading articles on the internet, writing in diaries, looking up words in the dictionary, and searching the internet for just, for just about everything. A great way to help these students learn is by having them describe diagrams or charts using, using written statements. They can study their notes later to better retain the information. Also allow plenty of time for these students to absorb information the written word and give them opportunities to get their words out on paper as well. <laughs> the last learning style is kinesthetic. <coughs> kinesthetic learners learn best when they can use tactical experiences and carry out a physical activity to practice applying new information. They like to get right into the thick of things by acting out events or using their hands to touch or handle or touch and handle in order to understand concepts. These are the students who might struggle to sit still, might be good at sports or like to dance, need to take breaks when studying, and might not have good handwriting. The best way teachers can help these students learn is by getting them moving. Teachers should instruct students to act out a certain scene from a history lesson they're teaching. Additionally, they should encourage these students by incorporating movement into lessons, by pacing to help memorize, learning games that involve moving around the classroom, or having the students write on the whiteboard as part of an activity. All these learning styles lead me into my senior project. Sorry. I, did, um, I decided to teach my mom to knit. She had no idea what she was doing. To be able to teach her, I, did, I had to determine what learning style worked for her. I learned that my mom is a visual learner. I had to show her instead of giving her directions. Overall, I made 10 scarves and my mom made one. I donated my scarves to the Friendly Kitchen in Concord. It was a really fun experience that I had never done anything like this before. Uh, yeah, so I made all this. So. Um, first off, I want to say thank you to my mom for being part of this project. I am thankful for this project. I have a better understanding of how I learn and how others may learn differently than I. I have learned the ability to teach myself and someone else something new. This project goes beyond teaching my mom how to knit, as well as myself, but I now understand the importance of learning and education. I believe that Albert Einstein summed it up best by saying, everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its, life, its whole life believing that it's stupid. I have learned that the four different learning styles are important in understanding a person fully, and I am 
And for that, I am forever grateful. <coughs> Any questions? Uh, okay. Good job. Good job. Go blow my nose. I got tissues right here.